a P and ID should show the main data for a line. If you recall, we have shown how the line data are shown on the P and IDs as a line number. So what are these data? The data shown on the line number also depend on the standard of the company or the project. But in general, these are the most common data to be shown. The line size. The line size is typically the nominal pipe diameter in inches. It's supposed to be sized based on the fluid flow rate, the density, the viscosity, and we can know all these data from the material balance. Then we can choose the suitable size based on maximum velocity and pressure drop criteria that we have. I have made a dedicated course talking about pipe sizing. You can check it out if you like. And here we suppose that the pipe nominal diameter is 4 inches. Fluid code for the line that we are expected to handle. For example, a process fluid may take the code of P, a cooling water fluid may take the code of CW, and so on. So, let's say it's P, for example. The line number, which usually includes the unit number and serial number. The total line number should be a unique number, so that each line can be easily tracked. So, we consider the unit number if we have a plant with different units. For example, if we are talking about a refinery complex, it may have atmospheric distillation unit, a vacuum distillation unit, isomerization, hydrocracking, and so on. The unit number in this case would be included. Here, for example, it is 20. For example, for the vacuum distillation unit, we shall add 20 here. So, a line in the vacuum distillation unit shall have 20, then we shall add the serial. So the serial line shall be, for example, 001. So the total line number for first line in the vacuum distillation unit shall be 2001. The line class. The line class is generally a code that reflects the material of construction and flange rating. Each flange has a rating which has a maximum pressure and temperature that is expected to withstand. So a 150 rating flange is expected to withstand around 18 bar gauge at 100 degrees C. If the design temperature is higher, then the maximum pressure it shall withstand shall be lower. A 300 rating is expected to withstand around 45 bar gauge. Then we shall have 600, 900, and 1500 pounds, which can withstand much higher conditions and so on. So let's say it's 150 rating and its material is carbon steel. Insulation type. The insulation type, in case the pipe is insulated, can be, for example, a personal protection if we don't want the operator to touch the hot pipe by mistake, or it can be heat conservation if we want to reduce the heat transfer with the ambient atmosphere. And it can be also a cold insulation if the pipe is expected to serve a fluid under the ambient temperature. Let's assume it's hot insulation here and we want to maintain the hot fluid temperature. Steam tracing or electrical tracing or hot oil jacketing if there is some issue of winterization if the fluid shall solidify for example so we need to heat it in order to ensure that it won't reach its pore point or it shall not be subject to solidification for example. The tracing is commonly shown on the P and ID as a dashed line this way. 